Cigarette smoking became increasingly popular in America after World War I when cigarettes were handed out to soldiers as a way to boost morale. But along with the rise in smoking came a disturbing rise in the lung cancer rate and some early warnings from a handful of doctors about possible dangers of smoking. Early studies in the 1930s and 1940s of the possible relationship between smoking and lung cancer were case control studies. It became quite apparent that lung cancer patients smoked much more than controls. In one study in particular, lung cancer patients were 17 times more likely than controls to be two pack a day smokers. In the early 1950s, Drs. Horn and Hammond of the American Cancer Society conducted one of the first cohort studies on the harmful effects of smoking. About 200,000 people were given a smoking questionnaire and then followed for four years. Death rates and cause of death for smokers and for non-smokers were compared. The preliminary study published in 1958 caused quite a sensation. It was the largest study on smoking that had been done and it showed that smokers were 10 times more likely than non-smokers to get lung cancer. Both the cohort and case control studies attempted to assess the proposed relationship between smoking and lung cancer by deriving a measure of effect that quantifies the extent of this relationship. The measure described in the case control study is called an odds ratio. The measure described in the cohort study is called a risk ratio. The activities that follow discuss these two fundamental measures of effect. 